Taya, Roto Korobo Sharabasaya, Raba Baba Basaya. I want to share with you. I want to share with you a scripture so that we can pray it together. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give him praise right now. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give you praise, God. We give you praise. We're going to pray right now. Mark chapter 16, what God was telling me about. To pray over you in the name of Jesus and over us in the name of Jesus and over the regions that we represent in the name of Jesus and the authority and power of Jesus. And I thank you, Father, for your word. I thank you for the Holy Spirit. I thank you for the angelic activity and the works that are being done in the spirit realm by your holy angels, by the Holy Spirit, and by your army here on the earth, the church, in the mighty name of Jesus. So I pray right now upon us in Jesus' mighty name. Later, Jesus appeared to his uh, 11 disciples. This is after the resurrection. To the disciples themselves, as they were reclining at the table. And he called them. He called them to account for their own belief and hardness of heart. Because they had not believed those who had seen him. Let me stop right there because the Lord is telling me right now that he is dealing with some of the unbelief in the church right now. So I'm going to read that sentence one more time because they had not believed those who had seen him after he had seen, he has risen from death. And he said to them, go into all the world. And I proclaim and I decree this over us. Go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. He who has believed in me and has been baptized will be saved from the penalty of God's wrath and judgment. But he who has not believed will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who have believed. In my name, they will cast out demons. They will speak in new tongues. They will pick up serpents. And if they drink anything deadly, it will not hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick and they will get well. After this, scripture says, so then when the Lord Jesus has spoken to them, he was taken up into heaven and sat down at the right hand of God. And they went out and preached everywhere while the Lord was working with, with them and confirming the word by the signs that follow. The Lord will confirm his word tonight. Hallelujah. The Lord will confirm his word tonight. Hallelujah. I give you praise, God. I give you praise, honor, and glory. Hallelujah, God. Let's pray in the spirit for a moment. The Lord, one of the questions that the Lord put in my spirit is what is the miracle that you are expecting in your life? What is the miracle? And I'm not asking you, you know, to, to put it on the comments if you don't feel like it's something that everybody needs to know, but it's something that God is asking you personally right now. He's asking you, what is the miracle that you are believing me for? What, what is the miracle that you are believing me for and that you are standing for before me, before the courts of heaven, before the presence of the Lord? What are the miracles that you're believing God for? So in the name of Jesus, we're coming in agreement for the miracle power of God to be released right now, for the miraculous to be released right now in the name of Jesus, not only physically in the body, but also financially, also in our nation. But in what area are you expecting a miracle? It said right now, the Lord is saying relationally, there are miracles that are going to start happening relationally, where sons have abandoned um, do, uh, you know, mothers where sons have abandoned their parents and they have not looked back. There will be a reconciliation. There will be a reconciliation where these uh, sons and daughters will come back to their parents in the name of Jesus in humility, in, in, uh, 
and they will come back in a way that it will not be full of pride, but it will be full of humility because the Lord has been molding them. While they were gone, the Lord was molding them. The Lord was shaping them. The Lord was removing those, uh, ch uh, those uh, sharp edges from them. The Lord was completely taking hold of their life and shaping them so that when they come back to you, they are coming back in humility because there, it, there will be a moment where they will come to their senses. My God, they will come to their senses where they will say, yes, Lord, I see what you're doing in my life. Now I see that I was wrong about my parents. Now I see that I was being rebellious towards them. I see now that it's not that they were trying to hold me back. I see now that it's not that they were trying to make me not have fun anymore. But I see now that my parents wanted the best for me, that my family wanted the best for me, that my husband or my wife wanted the best, the best for me. So the Lord is bringing bringing this relationship, relationship back, but the Lord is in the process. The Lord is touching the hearts. The Lord is touching the mind, is renewing the mind of these people for them to come back in humility and in honor and re in submission, recognizing the truth recognizing the truth and there is going to be great celebration there is going to be great celebration in these homes but it's in the spirit a great celebration i see that celebration taking place first in the spirit because it takes place first in the spirit and then it takes place in the natural and the manifestation it will come because heaven and earth will intersect and it will take place because it is the will of the father for the reconciliation it is the will of the father for reconciliation to take place like never before he is releasing this year a bridge across from one place to another from a to b for people to be reconciled and the lord says i am the bridge i am the bridge that is bringing people together that is bringing brothers and sisters together that are bringing families together that are bringing broken relationships together that is bringing marriages together that is bringing even those marriages that are already together and they have wonderful unity there is a greater measure that the lord is giving of unity and of love and and the lord is also working in those marriages where everything the people was thinking that and these marriages were thinking that everything was lost that it was completely broken but the lord says for there is nothing too difficult for me for i am able to mend i am able to renew i am able to make all things new and so the lord is speaking to you tonight and saying i am the one that will make a way for your hearts to be mended and to be united again like never before for your marriage Marriage to be restored, for your marriage to be renewed, for your marriage to be uh, refreshed in the name of Jesus. And the Lord is going to be that bridge. And the foundation that I see that the Lord is going to be releasing on this bridge is the word of God. And I see that the glory of God is the laying like a pavement for these couples to walk through to the other side in the name of Jesus. And this other side is speaking of Yes, reconciliation, but also forgiveness, that the past is gone, the forgiveness is taking place, and there is a new step, there is a new step that they are taking on with God, that they are holding hands, not just with themselves, hallelujah, but that they are holding hands with God. Come on, somebody, I'm giving a message tonight that I was not planning to do. I was not planning about it, but God, when God tells us to do something, we must respond. We must respond. And so, Father, I just thank you, Lord. I thank you for your word. I thank you for your fire. I thank you for the miracle working power and for that bridge that you're releasing, that bridge anointing, that, that word of restoration that you're releasing over your people and over the marriages in the name of Jesus and over the families, over the children and relationships of children and parents and vice versa. Father, we just thank you. We thank you because you're an expert on reconciliation. 
and see, I see in a vision right now, like a sewing, because he's knitting people together. He needs their hearts. He needs their bodies. He needs relationships together for his purpose, for his honor, for his glory, for his reflection to be upon those couples and for them to display how good God is. He, the goodness of God. There is a value in marriage. God respects covenant. He's a covenant keeping God. And he sees marriage as a beautiful covenant. It was his idea, remember? So the Lord is bringing, renewing that honor to covenant, that respect to covenant in marriages right now. He's releasing that word right now. So receive it for you if it's for you or if it's for someone in your family, pray it, receive it and ask the Lord to release it right now unto them in the name of Jesus. So we just thank you, Father, for your word. We thank you for touching marriages. I see that this is key for 2022, for marriages to enter a new, a fresh, new beginnings and let go of the past and the boring. Because God says, I'm hearing him right now, marriage is fun. It does not supposed to be boring. In God, all things are new and they are refreshed and they are fun. Hallelujah. And so we just thank you, Father, for that. Hallelujah. If you can tell me in the chat, if you would like and give some feedback, if this applies to you, or if you receive the renewal, uh, or if you receive that for a friend of yours or whoever that is, and just uh, give confirmation of what you're receiving, give glory to God. It's not giving me glory. I am confident that I'm hearing God. Amen. But it is testifying the spirit of prophecy as the testimony of Jesus Christ. And so you are testifying that God is speaking and is bringing glory to his name. Hallelujah. So we just thank you, Father. We thank you for your goodness. Hallelujah. I want to see on the comments and see what people is uh, believing God for. What are you believing God for? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Mary, I agree with you for Holy Spirit to rest on you. Hallelujah. That is a great anointing coming right now. I can feel the anointing right now coming upon us right now, an anointing of rest. And I know that you said that, Mary, but as we were worshiping with the song fire by fire by night and cloud by day, I was feeling that anointing that is bringing us into rest before the Lord. The Lord is taking us deeper into rest this year, the Lord, 5782 in the year of the calendar, Hebrew calendar, the Lord is bringing us into a deeper rest in him, and he's giving us the anointing to do so. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Even things, and I'm prophesying that even things that in, they were wearing us out in the past, the Lord says those things will no worry, you know, wear you out anymore. I see documentations. Maybe some people is working with a lot of administrative work. And the Lord is saying to you right now, I'm bringing rest unto you, even with the things that used to be like a big burden on you with a lot of, a lot of clerical or administrative work. I'm bringing rest unto you you and I see you laughing having those documents you know on your hands and working with those documents and you're just laughing you're joyful and the time is going by so fast because you're enjoying and you're resting in God as you're doing those tasks that used to be a burden before so the Lord is making a new I release that anointing now in Jesus name hallelujah God hallelujah I give you praise God I give you praise I give you praise and I see Jesse says, thank you, Lord, that if marriage is for me in the future, it will be fun and focus entirely on him. Hallelujah. And as soon as I read that, I saw the word holy and the Lord is releasing that holiness into the marriages. And he says it's going to be fun and it's going to be holy. Hallelujah. Holy, sanctified before the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. And this is not only for Jesse, but also for all the all the ladies and the gentlemen that are married, and also for those that will get married in the future. Amen. Yes, I love that song too. Yes, yes. Jesse says, I'm believing God for a job to work from home. And um, <laughs> she says she felt crazy, heavy for a year as a single mom. Yeah. 
And then uh, Tisha is believing for the house, a house uh, that she will be moving into. Wow, tomorrow. And the address is 825, 825 equals 15. Lots of grace and favor, amen? That's uh, the number five. And you have it like two, three times, triple, amen? Glory to God, glory to God. Let's pray in the spirit. The Lord is not bringing only restoration, but he's also bringing restitution. I hear in my spirit that he's bringing restitution. And I even see right now a ring being placed on somebody's you know, marriage finger. There is a restitution taking place in the marriage, somebody's marriage. And I prophesy right now that that restitution will come in Jesus' mighty name because that, that vision, uh, I know that I know that that vision, I'm not saying that someone is getting married. I'm not prophesying that someone is getting married. I'm prophesying that what somebody did one time of removing their, their marriage ring because they were separated. They will put that finger back again on their finger because the Lord will restore and also he will bring restitution that everything that was lost during that time when they were separated, the Lord will bring it completely into full restoration in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let's pray in the spirit. I see those two requests, but I want to receive that anointing from God to release a word that will go into the spirit realm with power and with authority. Amen. So let's pray in the spirit right now. Father, we ask for a greater anointing. We ask for a greater anointing. And like we were worshiping a minute ago, that we were declaring, we were decreeing, we were prophesying, heaven come down, heaven come down, heaven come come down, heaven come down in the name of Jesus, heaven come down to jobs, heaven come down to the workplace, hallelujah, heaven come down to workplaces, heaven come down in the name of Jesus to marriages, heaven come down right now in the name of Jesus to new homes, to the homes that, for instance, Tisha, the new home where she's going to live, we call heaven to come down to Tisha's house, and every person that is relocating, we ask Heavenly Father for heaven to come down and to manifest as I see the spirit of the living God just uh, as a movement of a, like a white tornado like the presence of God inside the house just moving moving he's moving in that new house the Lord is going to start moving in that new house and I'm sharing this word not only for Tisha but also for all, any other person that will be moving into their new home in the name of Jesus the presence of the Lord is going to be moving in this house it's going to be moving, it's going to be, it's going to be shifting, it's going to be as soon as something that is not of him tries to enter, it will be just cast out. Just like the way that a tornado lifts things from the ground and then is turning them into you know circles and then it throws it out. Is exactly the same way that the Lord is going to be casting things out that are not of him. Every obstacle that is coming against it, even all patterns all patterns that it's time to let go, they are going to be just turn and turn and turn in the presence of the Holy Spirit. And this, uh, this uh, like a tornado, and it's going to be cast out. It's going to be cast out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. I see that the presence of God is also moving inside of people. I see that same presence. I see that same presence moving inside somebody's body right now from the top all the way down to their bodies in the mighty name of Jesus. So the Lord is shifting things inside of you, meaning that he is putting things into place where they're supposed to be in a healthy manner in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything that is broken be mended in Jesus' mighty name. Everything that had a wound be healed in Jesus' mighty name. And I hear the Lord say, no fear. No fear of darkness, no fear of evil, no fear of change, no fear of the new. 
No fear in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Sita karabasata, roto korobo sharabata, roto korobo sita karabasata, roto korobo sharabasaya, roto korobo sharabasata. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy that that is and that the Lord is making a way for those that are single to find the love mate that God has for them. I prophesy a path, an encounter in Jesus' mighty name, according to God's timing, according to God's schedule, appointed time for meeting in the mighty name of Jesus. And I see all confusion be removed in Jesus' mighty name. Every hindrance be removed in Jesus' mighty name. And the Lord is telling me that every curse that was spoken against you, hear me now, every curse that was spoken against you, that was speaking that you will not get married again, be broken in Jesus' mighty name. Every curse is spoken against your future and against marriage, be broken in Jesus' mighty name. We release the blessing of God in Jesus' mighty name, and we release in Jesus' mighty name the honoring of God, the honoring of covenant into you in Jesus' mighty name. And I see that the Lord is dispatching angels to do the work like the way that he's, he did when Abraham sent his servant to get a wife for Isaac. The angel of the Lord went before him for, for, for the servant of Abraham to be successful in finding a wife for Isaac. And he was successful and it was confirmed that, that, that he successfully accomplished the mission of getting the wife for Isaac because the angel of the Lord was with him. And so I, I prophesy what I see, that the angels of the Lord have been released. And I declare and I decree now the angels of the Lord have been released to go forth, to make it successful, that you will have the mate that God has appointed for you according to his plan, according to everything that he wrote on the books of heaven regarding your life, regarding your marriage, regarding everything in your life in the name of Jesus. But right now, the focus of these angels is to go forth and do the work for bringing the mate for that encounter, that appointed person that God has for you in the mighty name of Jesus. So we just thank you, Father. We just thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. I, I think I'm going to be invited in a lot of weddings. <laughs> I'm going to be invited in lots of weddings. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 And, I, and the Lord is telling me to rebuke anxiety. We rebuke anxiety. We bind every form of anxiety in the mighty name of Jesus. Anxiety be removed in Jesus' mighty name. You have been there too long, but now it's time for you to live in Jesus' mighty name. No longer you have a space there. Be gone in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. I just see somebody's uh, light bulb went on. <laughs> somebody's light bulb in the spirit, which just went on. Hallelujah. So receive that idea that God has for you. The Lord is releasing clarity right now. The Lord is releasing that light and that clarity and ideas, brilliant ideas, not just, uh, you know, crazy ideas, but brilliant ideas from the kingdom of God. Even some will be maybe with some simplicity, but they will be brilliant because they come from the kingdom of God. And so the Lord is illuminating his people in this time for them to see, for them to walk around and not to walk in, in, in darkness because they are not of darkness, but for them to see clearly on the direction that they are going, that the sail of their boat is going on the right direction because they are going where the wind is blowing where the wind is blowing and they are trusting God and they will not be fearful because they know that the light of God will be a lamp on their path in the mighty name of Jesus. And even if the waters are turbulent sometimes, I'm not prophesying turbulent waters, but I'm saying that even when the waters are turbulent, the Lord is with you. And I hear the word valuable and is that the Lord wants you to know you are valuable to him. You are valuable to him. In the name of Jesus, I see that the Lord is like hugging somebody right now. 
to give to give that comfort and to give that security that you are valuable, that you are loved, that you are taken care of by him. Hallelujah. Even when you feel alone, the Lord is with you. Hallelujah. When the when when other people have turned their backs, and I'm prophesying people because I'm seeing this, this is coming. And is that even when when some people they have turned around and they have give you their backs and they were no longer supporting you, they were no longer your friends. They decided to just walk away, but the Lord has not walked away from you. He has not abandoned you. He, he didn't say, well, she did that, and now I'm so disappointed, I'm going to leave her. No, 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 no. God doesn't work in those terms. He's faithful. He's a keeping. He's, he's a covenant keeping God, and he says, I have not leave you. I have not forsake you. And I see that the Lord is lifting you up from where you are and bringing you into a higher place because he is releasing his divine horses in this season to fight for his people in the name of Jesus. There is a great strength being released in the angelic realm because the Lord is releasing this help for his people. So the Lord is bringing his people into a higher place. Hallelujah. I see that he is taking them from the place where they were and he's bringing them into a higher place in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You will no longer be bound, but you will be free. Hallelujah. You will no longer be limited. You will no longer be limited. We, we, we declare and we decree right now that every limitation be broken because I see that somebody was trying to limit you from moving, from moving up, from moving forward. But we say every limitation is broken by the power of the blood of Jesus. We thank you, Father, for the power of the blood, the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, the name of Jesus. We release the name of Jesus against those chains, against those things that were holding you back from moving forward and from going up in the name of Jesus. And even some of you might be stepping into new waters. You might be stepping, I'm prophesying, and I'm seeing that, that some of you will be stepping into new waters, into new fields feels in the in the admiral in the realms of influence and it is okay you're a little nervous but the lord says i'm going to be working and i'm going to be taking you out of your comfort zone because there are areas in your life that i'm going to be working on that i'm going to be sharpening on some areas some gifting some talents some skills that are inside of you that i want to bring forth that i want to bring to the surface and i'm going to sharpen them i'm going to use them for my glory and you will be like you know, like when you receive a gift that you open it up and, and when you open that gift, you're like, oh, wow, I didn't realize this nice gift was in here. So the same way the Lord is going to be opening you up and you're going to start seeing giftings, skills and talents that were inside of you that you didn't know that you had in the name of Jesus. Even the Lord is going to start uh, causing you to discover new things that you like that will cause you to find joy. Of course, you have joy in the Lord, but when you discover these things through the presence of the Lord and the Lord highlight these things to you, it will bring so much joy. I see new hobbies being discovered. I see people that has been in the same hobby for 20 years and there is nothing wrong with that. But the Lord is like even removing dust from some hobbies and now he is causing people to rediscover themselves. There is a rediscovering of who you really are because the Lord says you have not found all the treasures yet that are inside of you. So the Lord is sending you into this trip and this uh, process where you're going to start discovering the new skills, the new talents, those, the, those talents that are inside of you. And, I call, and, and they are called new because you have not operated or worked in them before. So the Lord is going to be using you on that. And even in those hobbies, you're going to find so much joy. I see somebody already like playing golf. And I don't know if you have played golf before. And I'm not saying to everybody here, play golf. It's some of you that maybe the, the Lord is saying that that's a new hobby for you to play golf. So we just thank you, Father, for the rediscovering that you are releasing upon us. Because the Lord is saying that he has not 
finished with us, that we are still in the process of continually re rediscovering our identity, who we really are. The earth is really like crying out for the manifestation of the sons and the daughters of God to walk upon the earth, be a blessing and release the blessing over all creation for the creation to flourish, for the creation to be healed, for the creation to be restored in the name of Jesus. And I see some stepping into new ground where they didn't step they didn't step on these grounds before, but the Lord is sending you there because you are going to bring the light. You are going to bring the light in those areas. Even I see prophetically, I perceive prophetically right now that the Lord is going to bring some of you even into the political realm, which is a realm where you were not involved in before but the lord is going to use you because i see you carrying a white flag and that white flag is the banner of jehovah and you will bring the peace of god the kingdom of god the peace of god that crushes the head of the enemy into the realm of the political uh, sphere and you will make big changes and i see that you will walk with those with that flag before you jehovah banner before you and it will make a way it doesn't matter how dark it looks it will make a way because jehovah banner goes before you and it will make a way where there seems to be no way you will make a statement in the spirit realm jehovah banner is here jehovah is here there is no one like jehovah jehovah is here the kingdoms of this world have become the kingdoms of our god and of his messiah jesus in jesus mighty name retake the ground retake the territory for the works of the kingdom kingdom and destroy the works of the devil and this is the purpose of the kingdom to seek this is the purpose of God the purpose of the kingdom is to seek first the kingdom of God and all things shall be added unto you and the Lord is releasing every one of you now to bring forth the kingdom into every realm of influence and into the new realms where God is sending you forth because he's doing a new thing in the mighty name of Jesus I see the Lord is going to start sending some new connections your way as you step in because some of you are thinking well I didn't have I don't have help I don't know anybody in these realms of influence I have no clue but I see that the Lord will send help on the way but at the same time there is a process where the Lord wants you to rely completely on him and not on people because in the past he has sent you people your way and and it is good it is good the help but this time there is a trust that the Lord is growing more and more and more in you for you to rely more and more and more in him trust equals faith and manifest the presence of God and manifest the result, results of Holy Spirit in the things that he's sending you forth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I hear the Lord say, do not fear to step into new grounds. Do not fear to step into doing what I have stirred your heart with for my glory. Regardless of what I send you, I am with you, says the Lord. I go before you, I'm behind you, I'm on your right and your left. I see even the Lord giving rest to some of you at night because you have been pondering about so many things and wondering what to do. But the Lord tonight will give you rest and will give you clarity. Jehovah will give you clarity. Jesus will give you clarity of vision in the name of Jesus. I see that cloud that was blocking you from seeing the, the vision of God for your life, the purposes of God for your life, that fog is being removed now. I saw it being lifted. So I prophesy in the name of Jesus that that fog that was causing you to not see the vision of God for your life, the purpose, the calling, the purpose of God in your life now be removed in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. I give you praise, God. I give you praise, Lord. I give you praise, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 You are truly light in the darkness. And because you are so used to the light, when you come into a place, the light of God just illuminates the place and darkness is being expelled. I see somebody that works at the school in the school system, and sometimes you wonder if you make a difference in that realm, even just by showing up. The Lord says, when you show up, I show up. 
When you do, I'm doing through you. I am manifesting, says the Lord. I'm bringing the light in. Somebody wanted to quit. Somebody wanted to quit at the school. But the Lord says, I send you to bring the light. I send you to bring Jehovah banner. I send you to bring the kingdom of peace into place and take land, take territory, possess the land. I am getting ready, says the Lord, to pick up the stakes from the ground of your tent and enlarge your tent because I'm getting ready to expand your realm of influence a hundred times. I see the number a hundred and I see that the Lord is going to expand your realm of influence a hundred times. In the name of Jesus, your tent will be expanded for his purposes. In the name of Jesus, there is a new flow coming in from heaven into this place, into this place where he will position, position you so that you will bring the kingdom, manifest the kingdom, demonstrate the kingdom. And I see that you will open ears, even in places where you never imagined. So the Lord is saying, I'm breaking off patterns of thinking about having to worship like four hours before you can open somebody's ears. The Lord says, for I am working in you at night and I am depositing strategies and words that are causing to burn in the inside of you like fire. And when the time comes, says the Lord, those words will flow through your mouth and you will open ears of the deaf. You're going to open ears for them to hear again. And I even see somebody's right here that was not able to hear since the time of birth. And the Lord will open right now those ears. And I prophesy that if there is somebody here right now that is hearing this message, and even in the recording message, recording in the replay, if you did not do not hear with your right ear or your left ear, the Lord is opening your ear right now. I command your ear to open. Somebody from birth was having issues with that ear, did not hear very well. From birth, from birth, you did not hear on your right ear. The Lord is opening up your ear. Open, open in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. See, Jesus is the one that opens the ears. Jesus is the one that opens the eyes, and it sounds like we say this all the time, right? But it's manifesting, it's being demonstrated, because we are a people, we are priests and kings, hallelujah. We are the ones that bring the demonstration and manifestation of Holy Spirit on the earth, and we are coming in alignment with Holy Spirit to manifest on the earth, and I see that in this time and season, the body of Christ is coming more in agreement with the work that God is doing together with his angelic host here on the earth, and it will cause great, ex great exploits for the glory of God. Even I see that we are going to do great exploits where we thought that the ground was too hard for us to dig and to find something valuable but the lord says you will burst through and you will i see it right now it's almost like when somebody i see this in a vision and it's like i see the ground i see the digging the digging the digging and all of a sudden this gold oil just comes out and burst out in the name of Jesus. So even if you feel like you have been working, 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 believing God and doing what he, pro what he promised you and obeying what he told you to do and believing his promise is what I want to say. Believing his promise. Keep digging. Keep going deeper in him. Keep going deeper in him. And he will give you great instructions and you will break ground in Jesus' mighty name. I prophesy you will break ground. And when you break ground, there is a new oil that nobody else has tapped into before that it will be like a virgin organic anointing oil that you're going to receive because you have been you have been digging deeper and that is a reward the lord says there is a reward of those who seek me diligently so that oil will be released even if the ground you feel like 
the ground, meaning the, the, the area of influence or, the, or whatever the Lord has assigned you to do and what he told you to do. And you feel like it has been so hard and so dry and nothing is happening. And the Lord is saying right now, even in ministries, they have been working so hard for years. They have been doing what God has telling them to do. You know, you have been doing what God told you to do. You have been doing the ministry. You have been doing the business. You have been working, working, working. And now is the time that the Lord is encouraging you to continue, do not stop, persevere, if you're close to it, it's about to burst, this new anointing is going to flow, and it's a new anointing that you have not tapped into before, and you will flow into this pure anointing of the Holy Spirit afresh in Jesus mighty name. During all this development, the Lord has caused you to grow. The Lord has caused you to grow for his glory. Because you were digging deep. You were working hard. And even if you saw a wall in front of you, you went forth and broke that wall. And you know, I see a fist that came forth and broke that wall that was in front of you. Well, this fifth, this fist, five, full ministry, you most engage with the apostolic, the prophetic, the evangelistic, the pastoral, and the teaching anointings. You must come together to break some walls in the ministry arena. And even there is some counseling, divine counseling that is coming from the fivefold ministry that will be poured onto businesses. That is people, business entrepreneurs, and even new people that will engage in businesses that you will flow in the fivefold ministry. And it will be so different. It will not be like religious, but it's going to flow in a very different way. It's not going to be conventional. It's going to be very different because God is doing a new thing. He's moving through people differently. See, some people, they don't have that religious speech. And the Lord is saying, you will move in the fivefold ministry without, have, without using too much religious language. But rather, the Lord is going to give you the language that you are to use where you are in the realm of influence. The Holy Spirit is prophesying right now that just like the way that he did on the book of Acts chapter two, and we see this throughout the book of Acts, we see during the baptism of the Holy Spirit that the baptism of the Holy Spirit came upon the disciples on the upper room. And we saw flames of fire, tongues as flames of fire upon them. And they started speaking other tongues. And I hear the Lord say, if I cause them to speak in other tongues and they testify of my wondrous works and many from other nations heard about my wonders and they believe and they receive me and they got baptized and the Holy Spirit. I gave them the language for them to be able to speak to other people from other nations, a language that they did not know. So the Lord is saying, I'm going to give you a language that you will be able to use for you to be able to reach other people, even other nations, for my glory, for them to believe in me and that I am an icebreaker, that I am a way maker, that I will break ground in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. And again, I see it is a new territory that you're entering in. It is new. And even some of you, and when I said language, I'm talking about what God is referring to is when you're speaking with a doctor, you and you're communicating with them, you will be speaking with some of their vocabulary, some of their language. Paul says, with the poor, I became, you know, with the poor, I became poor, meaning that he became, he, he, he turned into the, he, he started to speak the way that the other person was speaking for them to be able 
to communicate and for him to be able to influence that person. But it's not something that we can just do on our own. There is an anointing that we need in order for us to speak the way that God wants us to speak with the words that he wants us to communicate and, and convey to those that are in the realms of influence. And so the Lord is going to be giving you uh, words, languages, languages that we are to be speaking to people for them to understand. I even see the word investments. And when people is doing investments, even when you know people that are experts in investments, you will be able to communicate with them. The Lord will give you vocabulary the Lord will give you the language for you to be able to engage with them. And I hear the Lord say, they will believe. They will believe because they will relate to that language. The Lord is using it as a hook. Like when you're fishing, the Lord is fishing people with these languages that he's releasing. And this is a prophetic word also for this year. The Lord is releasing a hooking device, a hooking language for people to come forth and believe in him because the Lord will relate to people. This is what Holy Spirit is telling me right now. When he came, when Jesus came to, uh, you know, you know the story, John chapter four, the woman at the well, one of the most popular stories on the Bible, Jesus spoke to her on a language. I'm, I'm giving you exactly what Holy Spirit is giving me right now. Holy Spirit is telling me Jesus communicated with the woman at the well with the language that she knew. He started speaking to her in that manner. And she was attentive to what Jesus had to say. And then in the conversation, she asked, I per, and she says, I perceive you are a prophet. So because of the words that Jesus was speaking, the word is spirit and life, and she knew that he knew more than a normal person, then her understanding was open that he was a prophet. So the Lord will cause these languages to demonstrate the power of God, to demonstrate that God exists, and for God to become real to people, for them to see that God is real, and that God is not someone, I'm prophesying, friends, that God is not someone that is closed in a building, in a church, or that is only there with somebody in their home only, but that he is everywhere, that he is omniscient that he's omnipresent and that he is real and that he sent Jesus to the cross to die for their sins because he loves them. And so God is doing a new thing. So I hear the Lord say, open your mouth because I'm ready to fill it up. I will fill it up, says the Lord. Open your mouth, I will fill it. Open your mouth and I will fill it. As you open your mouth, the Lord says, I'm also pouring a new, I, I see it, a new wine to enter into you, which is the Holy Spirit, the strength of the Holy Spirit, the power of the Holy Spirit. And I see that the Lord says, as you open your mouth to receive the new wine of the Holy Spirit, sickness and disease will be broken off of you and you shall walk in a new you. This new year is starting now in Jesus name. Hallelujah. 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 The Bible says that, that we live from every word that comes out of the mouth of God. And tonight he's given us of his new wine. And all we need to do is open our mouth and receive it. Do that prophetic act right now. Open up your mouth and receive the new wine of the Holy Spirit. That red color of wine also represents the blood of Jesus that expels sickness, disease, infirmity, because by his stripes you are healed. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Even I just, I'm trying to utter the following message the way the Holy Spirit wants me to utter. I want to capture what Holy Spirit is telling me right now. This new wine, 
will sustain you in times of tribulation. This new wine will sustain you, will feed you, will sustain you, will give you strength and will keep you healthy in time of tribulation or turbulent waters, whatever it is. He's giving you a new strength because with this new wine, he's bringing you into a higher place. He's bringing you above the situation. You are not under, but you are above that situation. So the Lord wants you to take it and to receive that new wine of the Holy Spirit. Yes, the Holy Spirit, the, the Holy Spirit was already poured upon us. Because in the last day, saith God, I will pour out my spirit on all flesh, and your sons and your daughters will prophesy. Young men will, will what did it say? Young men, no, all men will, will have dreams. We say it so much, I already forgot it. Seriously? So all men will have dreams. Young men will have visions. So the outpouring of the Holy Spirit already happened, but we need refreshing. There is a more, more of Holy Spirit, more and more and more of Holy Spirit. This is a new release of Holy Spirit with his new wine for this new season. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sita karaba karabata, korobosha karababa basaya rabata. Holy Spirit is telling me to release the anointing of the Holy Spirit right now. As I see uh, an actual mantle coming from heaven for someone that is watching right now, you need that empowerment from Holy Spirit for you to do the works of ministry, for you to do the work that God has called you to do. The a mantle of the Lord is available for you to receive. It's an empowerment. It's an equipping. You're dressed for battle with this mantle in the name of Jesus. So I release the anointing of the Holy Spirit right now upon you in Jesus' mighty name. And I said, Holy Spirit, Jesus, I ask that you thicken that anointing upon them, that it will be so thick also upon them, solid upon them, that the enemy cannot penetrate in Jesus' mighty name. That the enemy cannot penetrate because in the past, in some situations, you have felt the anointing, and then you felt like the anointing lifted too quickly, and then you felt attacked. You felt like, what did I do? It lift me. There are greater layers of the anointing. There are greater layers of the anointing, the empowerment of the Holy Spirit. And the Lord is releasing a new anointing. He's releasing a new layer of the anointing. It's thickening upon us. But there is a responsibility that the Lord is giving us is to maintain it through worship and the word and submission to God in being in humility, knowing that every power, all power, all authority comes from him and not ourselves. But it is for his glory that Jesus, that Jesus is the the groundbreaker, that Jesus is the way maker, that Jesus made a way for us on the cross. And because of him, we have that power because he is the vine and we are the branches. Jesus is the vine and he's so precious. He's just so loving. And I just see him, just th this vine, just giving life to every branch, just giving life to every branch. All you have to do is carry the fruit carry the fruit hallelujah 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 all you need to do is carry the fruit you are attached to the vine there was a moment when you were bleeding as a branch but the lord is healing you tonight because you are attached to him. And he says, I meant you. I meant that that was broken. And even more, says the Lord, I will cause new growth 
to come upon you. I see a, 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 a trim coming at the very end of the branch. And the Lord says, I'm causing you to double flourish in this season. I'm causing you to double flourish in this season. You're going to flourish where you were broken and you will be flourish where you were trimmed in Jesus name. And you will bear so much fruit for me. And I already hear him say, my good and faithful fa savior, savior, <laughs> servant. I'm getting sleepy and I'm getting like, ooh, with the anointing. My good and faithful servant in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I see right now in a vision and I'm going to leave you with this because I think I'm going a little long now. And is that the Lord is showing me in a vision here. Hair is growing from people's scalps. New hair is coming forth. Symbolically and prophetically, this is speaking of two things. But the number one, the Holy Spirit is telling me right now, is that new thoughts are coming from your head. New Holy Spirit thoughts are going to come forth from your head in the name of Jesus. And they are so many. They are so many Holy Spirit thoughts that are going to flow through you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But also his healing scalps. Those that have been losing hair, that hair loss stops now. And God is causing new hair where there was no hair on your scalp to come forth. And it's like, I see, I see how the hair is just coming like you know, and it grows. I see it coming from the little pores, if I can say, of the scalp and just comes forth, comes forth, comes forth with the natural color that you have. So I prophesy that with God, there is nothing impossible. Listen, friends, God knows how many hairs you have on your head. He knows how many he gives you daily. He knows how many you lost when you took a shower this morning. The Lord has the power to open ears. The Lord has the power to give you new hair. So I release that anointing now upon us in Jesus' my name for new hair to come forth from our scalps in Jesus' mighty name. We come, I command right now hair loss to stop now in Jesus' mighty name. Every curse associated with hair loss be broken in Jesus' mighty name. A stress that was causing hair loss, be broken. You are being root out and cast down in Jesus' name. And I, we, I command now, according to the word of the Lord, I prophesied to the hair, I prophesied to the scalps, and I said, come forth in Jesus' mighty name. I prophesy full head of hairs in Jesus' mighty name. So I give you praise, God. I give you praise in Jesus name. And I'm looking here at the comments. I see Jesse. Oh, wow. She says, oh my God, my hair has been falling out so bad that I've gone to the doctor and my scalp suddenly was flaking so bad that I had to have a prescription shampoo. I pull out so much hair every single day. Well, I have news for you. I didn't know that, but Holy Spirit knew, and he's causing the hair loss to stop now. Receive the word of the Lord. Receive his word. Receive his truth and receive just, uh, I see right now in a vision, the laying off of hands on, on, on the scalp. So lay hands on yourself and receive that anointing right now in the name of Jesus. I see that anointing just running down on those areas where there was boldness, where there was a, a problem on your scalp. I just see it right now being released in Jesus' name. And I hear the Lord say, rest in his peace. Rest in his peace. I even see somebody's pillow and I don't know if this is Jesse because I saw her coming, but I don't know if this is her. But I see that even someone was leaving a lot of hair on their pillow, like a lot of hair. They, they will get up in the morning and I see a white um, pillow and I see hair all around the pillow. But I hear the Lord say, I'm stopping that now in Jesus' mighty name because I see that you were worried 
that every time you were getting up, you will see all this hair around your pillow. And you were asking what is happening. This was an attack of the enemy rooted in stress. But the Lord says, I'm cutting it off now in Jesus' mighty name. You will no longer have that problem. Receive your miracle. Receive your healing now. Receive your hair <laughs> in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give you praise, God. We give you praise, God, for every healing, for every miracle, for every prophetic word, for every word of knowledge, for your written word, because I have proclaimed your word here tonight. And you will demonstrate your word. You will manifest your word. You are manifesting your word. And I hear the Lord say, I'm coming against depression. I will stop when Holy Spirit stops. He is coming against depression right now that is rooted in hope deferred. The Lord is coming against depression right now. It was rooted in hope deferred in the name of Jesus. The Lord is moving this out of the way and is being cast out almost like spitting it out out of you. The Lord is delivering you from depression in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord is delivering you. It was rooted also in the emotions, but the Lord is going deep, removing depression and hope deferred in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. And the Lord is bringing your mind into a new focus rather than focusing on things that you were hoping for, that you were not even aware if they were my will, says the Lord, or if they were not my I will. So now I'm narrowing you. I'm, I'm narrowing that uh, what you were seeing. It's like you were being overwhelmed with so many things that you wanted. But now it's like the Lord is, is uh, organizing you, is uh, simplifying, and is narrowing all this for you to stay focused and expect from God and the timing of God because I see that some of you were trying to run ahead of God and the Lord is saying you were trying to run ahead and this was used to prevent you from running ahead but now he's blocking out depression and hopelessness and hope defer in Jesus mighty name Hallelujah. And I release encouragement and the power of the Holy Ghost and the joy of the Lord, which is your strength. And I see a garment of joy, a garment of praise coming upon you. I release that now in the authority and power of Jesus. So I know that it's almost midnight. So I bless you guys with peace. I want to tell you, thank you for agreeing with me in prayer, for agreeing with me uh, with the word of the Lord for agreeing with me so i bless you in the name of jesus with peace with joy and uh, be blessed and do not fear because god is with you and he holds i see it right now that he holds your future he holds your future on his hands and so rest in peace thank you for joining me tonight thank you for for um for believing with me i believe with you I, and i agree with you for your healing and your miracle and what God released for you tonight. And even if some things that I said, you felt like they didn't apply, and that they didn't apply to your life, but you know someone in your home or in your realm of influence that that applies to them, you receive that word, amen? As Holy Spirit leads you and you even share it with the person. So thank you guys and, and I share with others if you feel like this will bless other people and give me a thumbs up. I love you. Have a good night. Let me see if I miss any message in here. Let's see. Oh, William says, new hair, new thoughts, burn out of the mind of God. Amen. <laughs> I agree with that. Yes, narrowing and simplifying thoughts and new focus. And uh, I received the blessings, Jesse. Blessings to you as well. God bless you guys. I love you. Mm. Send you big kisses. God bless you. Take care.